I want you to know, um, our next guest is a very good friend of mine. There's not a lot of people that are sponsors that I consider uh, friends. It takes a long time to become a trusted friend, and I hope I am good friends to um, the people that I know, but he has been a good friend to ours. He is also the chairman of Goldline and financial expert. He's Mark Albarian, uh, and full disclosure, Goldline obviously is a sponsor. Um, Mark, I wanted to talk to you because I am, and we've been talking about this on radio, I am thinking about taking a, a lot of money out of the bank and, um, you know, putting it under the mattress, basically, because I no longer trust the banks. The banks are starting to go into this digitization. They're, they want to control our money. Um, and now we're talking about things, if Art Laffer is right, then we have nothing to worry about. But if he's wrong, we have a presidential candidate that's talking about just inflating our way out of our debt. What does it look like when you don't, when your money is worthless? Well, you brought up the issue of inflating our debt. Um, if we can't pay it back, there's two things you do when you have too much debt. Um, you don't pay it back. In fact, the International Monetary Fund thinks that's a reasonable course. Argentina did it. Um, Puerto Rico is looking at doing it. Um, other countries have done it or you inflate out of it. And when you inflate out of it, you can do it by raising interest rates and doing a variety of other things. And the dollars that people hold are just worth less. And when they're worth less, they buy less. And the government doesn't have to take your money physically away from you. But if there's hyperinflation, we've seen it countless times throughout history. Right. People lose lots of money. And it's tempting. But if you pull money out of the bank, Glenn, and you put it under your mattress, those very same dollars um, could be inflated away. And I think you've right. already done something. And, and, and what you've done is you've diversified with gold. Right. And really what you're doing is having real money at your fingertips. But if there's hyperinflation, one could assume that gold's going to go up and keep its purchasing power. What makes Maybe you think, the, the, what makes you think, Mark, that, that gold will not be, I mean, because they're now talking about, I mean, real conversations on a global scale about digitizing money, making cash purchases over a certain amount, let's say $1,000, Illegal. You have to do it through digits. What makes you Lots think? Are, what makes you th are concerned about that? Right. Really concerned. I know you guys have done a white paper on this, but what is the? What makes you feel like gold is not going to be illegal for purchases too, or does it matter at that point? I guess that could happen. I mean, a government could make anything illegal, but I think that you have to look at steps. First step is maybe making it more difficult to transact with cash. Um, another step might be um, maybe making new gold ownership um, restricted or illegal. Um, I don't know that there's um, a real high probability of gold um, being recalled. However, it was recalled before. And, right. um, and, 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 and I would tell people just use common sense with all of this. I mean, I listen to Art Laffer, and I hope everything he's saying comes true. I, you know, I hope for the best, and I look to plan for the worst. And planning for the worst means... Being diversified. If that means, Glenn, having a little bit of cash on hand because for some reason um, you're in a situation where you can't get to the bank, um, the Red Cross has made those recommendations with yep. the hurricanes and other things that we've seen. Um, but I think that if you're talking about larger amounts of cash, you want to be sure that whatever you invest in has the potential to hold its purchasing power. And I think that that's where the precious metals come into play. I will tell you, Mark, I, you know, you have been a very good friend of mine for years. And um, we've known each other for a long time. But when I, um, when I realized your character is when we were sitting in my office at one point, and I said, you know, gold could be worth five thousand dollars. And you, I, if I remember this right, you had tears in your eyes, and you said, you don't want gold to be at five thousand dollars. Well, that might be really good for my business. That would be so horrible for the world. And we have had these conversations for quite some time about being very concerned about the world. And I appreciate your partnership and your friendship. Mark, Thank you. we'll have you Thank on again. You Thank I you. I feel the same way. God bless. Back in a minute.